Hello and welcome back to the Maginot line. We are on turn 8. Let's switch back into the game and still 8 turns left or only 8 turns left. I'm not really sure. Therefore, don't want to waste time and really trying to keep up the pressure. Definitely need ammo everywhere. This should supply us until the end of the battle. I think there's one piece of artillery right here. Not sure. Let's grab supplies. Let's start inching forward. Let's start to dig them out. And space is at the premium here. This still should be safe. We can absolutely move in next turn. Probably I can lure someone out. No, there's no artillery here. The artillery is back here, obviously. Good, 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 good. So it's safe to go one hex forward, but then I will lose my artillery protection. Like this, that's a very safe position. I will stay as is. Good. Then I want to start my breakthrough attempt. On this side, nice. Keep the AUX units supplied because I will need them to do a last ditch effort. Make sure this tank doesn't hurt us too much. At the same time, I want to harass wherever I can. This strong point can be significantly weakened. That's good. Here we want ammo. I can't go in here. So we'll take it with Uledir just to block this tank finally from reinforcing. Hmm, grab supplies or move back. Not sure, I will think about it. want all my units towards mats. Final fortress dealt with. This unit needs to be removed. Well, attack plus one on the pioneer could be better, could be worse. Done.
I hope they won't attack into me. I want to divert one artillery already. And grab supplies. So if this chubby goes in. Which he probably will and attacks here. That could be a huge problem for my pioneers. But not much I can do about it. And I want Cash uh, to help deal with those infantry units still being active. Do we have any remaining planes? I don't think so. Nope. Those two cavalry units could give us a very bad day. But if I move up, that doesn't help the slightest it will run both units out of ammo so we'll have to risk it yeah not ideal but i hope i will survive over here yeah we could get killed off easily so it's probably best to simply go into the trenches and hope we survive And here we'll simply stay. Yep, that's it. Critical turn. Let's keep our fingers crossed. He doesn't attack. Good. Good, good, good. This was super important. Grab supplies. I need active pioneers. And still cloudy weather, which is not ideal, but we can work with that. Let's see. Clear out mines. So we have an avenue of attack. And then we need to collapse this position. We'll this will be tricky as hell. Let's see. Grab supplies. Can we force surrenders here? Nope. I don't see that happening. But we can run them out of ammo. And, well, Probably getting rid of the Samoa at least. Let's 
Afghanistan. One painful threat removed. I need to stay out of range at the same time. Those final units need to get blasted. Ah, couldn't move up. This position now is stable. The cavalry won't go in here I hope and I can finish off this Amur next turn no problem next up getting rid of those fortification hacks is, is the tedious part and time is running out quickly now. Let's see, over here. No way around it, we... This is Mets, we will get pounded, no matter what we do. You are the first one to go. Forcing a surrender probably is the quickest way to do it. Nope. In the forest we will be a little bit safer, so let's go forward. plan is to <coughs> attack the strong point so we can get rid of the gun and something or someone still needs to go right here yeah we'll take a pounding <clears throat> but nothing can be done about that. We have enough units that can swing in. Move to the south. I don't think it's wise to go in because now at least we are not in range of this big gun. <clears throat> and I still hope we have enough time to deal with mats. The most problematic part are those units in the center, I think. Might be mistaken, but we'll see. At least we are not super vulnerable anywhere. Good, good, good. Great weather again. Now we'll force a surrender on this cavalry unit. That's done.
secure the final strong points. Yeah, grab supplies. I've just moved out of range. We can we can move up here to bombard them. I will do that. And going forward here at the moment, I don't think it's worth it. <coughs> but I definitely... Well, let's see. I can use... Units to deal with that, that's not an issue. I need my pioneers to work on those fortification hexes. <coughs> yeah, probably making sure I can easily deal with those. <clears throat> and already put the pioneers to a different job. Finally tank gone. Another infantry gone. Yeah, grab supplies, doesn't matter. Then the big guns can start firing <coughs> onto mats. Probably should have done that already. Probably can lure someone in. Grab the target. And get into position. So that's good. I probably won't need the big gun here. Already moving it up. And then the tricky part. Do I want to collapse this pocket right now? Getting rid of the tank would be super helpful. That's obvious. Those engineers will be a likely target. Let's Yeah, let's go on to the hill. Why not? Can I move in and out? No, I can't. So that's a little bit too risky. This Panzer IV... Four... 
is a green guy. I simply hope he survives. I'll move everything in position. Leave this open for now. Get out of here again. Yeah, and I hope they will go for the pioneers. This sets up in a very us in a very good position to get rid of the anti-aircraft cannon next turn. Slowly dissecting them. Loss is pretty much unavoidable. Good, that's done. Let's end the turn. Yeah, going for the pioneers. Mostly at least. Good. Not great. But we can rinse and repeat. Good, now... You will get forced surrendered. Pretty unwise decision to go into here. We need to do four damage. I think we can easily do this. Is it worth preserving out of tranks? I think it is. I should have used... Should have used the tank, but it's a nice victory nevertheless. And we'll move up to blast this out of existence next turn. And level bombers. We'll run him out of ammo. Then he is done for. We can already move towards our next targets. him in then we'll start eliminating the defending artillery positions let's see move up grab supplies Grab supplies. And starting with next turn, it will already be possible to Yeah. 
too risky. I'm not in that much of a hurry. But this gun will have plenty of targets available. But infantry in the open Less than ideal, but still workable. The fortification needs to go down. Now I can move into the trenches myself, which make the attack much more stable. And I think I will just give them this pioneer. Move everything into place, but don't want to move my artillery into range. I want them to fire at... Yeah. I want to fire them at the Pioneer. Poor guy, but nothing can be done about that. That's good, that's good. Everything looks stable. Let's end the turn again. Yeah, this pioneer seems to be more attractive. But we don't need him anymore. And now they start to buy stuff. But that doesn't bother us anymore, I think. Ah! Misclick! I wanted to move the level bomber. But this will allow us to... Safeguard this position. He must not get away. And next turn, <clears throat> we should be able to put this under lockdown. Another target gone. Another target gone. Now is the time to deal with their ear defenses. Let's see.
that's done. And now they are pretty much open and already starting to run out of ammo. And we can really hammer them. At the same time. Those forces in the north should break through. This gun will fire one more shot and then be down. And next turn we can storm the target but the question is do we want to block them from buy anything? Infantry out of the way. another fortification hacks out of the way. We have four more turns to collapse everything in here. Probably offering them something on the hill. Yeah, just like that. I think we will break them next turn. Air Force fine. That's all good. Yeah, and you're right, Thomas. The plus one move luck is super nice. Good. I don't want to waste money here. I will let them buy one more round of reinforcements. And here we go. Gun out. Yeah, that's good. Grab supplies. Let's peek. We can probably still block them. Yeah. Tank down and this could give us the opportunity to grab the final target. We'll see. This will be perfect to force surrenders. And we can force a lot of surrenders in here. But first those guns. Well, the anti-aircraft defenses need to be silenced. Three 
three turns to do it. This could be more comfortable. But probably now is our best chance to do it. That should be gunned down. This didn't do it. That's a pity. myself from being able to get in there. Nope, can't do it. But now they are seriously running out of ammo. I will have to allow them one more round of... Supplying. Everything <coughs> has to storm forward and dig those units out. Good. But I think I can still do it without reloading. The Air Force is getting back online. In the back, everything is under control. This still could be useful to blast a hole in this remaining strong point. Yeah, that's good. Let's end the turn. Out of ammo. Good. And now we need to close in. Anti-aircraft cannon is the first that needs to fall. That's done. Another surrender. At least this will give us decent prestige. Big gun. Needs to get suppressed. Wrong point. 
point needs to fall. is now pretty much out of action. Next we will force a surrender on you. There are no threatening targets remaining in here. So I think it's all right. To do it like this. Maximizing the prestige. Making sure he doesn't come back online. Don't want to kill off this gun because it's protecting me against um, Enemy units. But we can... Try to reduce any risks involved. Final thing to do is Making sure this gun in the center goes, uh, this infantry unit in the center goes down, which could be actually the trickiest part still remaining. So we'll bring my pioneers forward to do it. But at least they are now completely boxed in. Actually, he will be too late anyways. help out over here good that's it two more turns I think that should be easily doable but who knows rain coming up but that should not hurt us anymore And this final unit in the city should go down. Doesn't matter if we get rain or not. Make sure we suppress them.
make sure to force final surrenders. And there still is this fortification hex. This fortification hex and this fortification hex. So it's not done yet. Good. Let's blow up the big gun. Surround them. And pound them. There should be one more level bomber somewhere. Let's use the last of the good weather to do it. Out of artillery on this side, so... Let's try to work him down. all the locations make sure to prepare him for our final attack but that seems to work out don't see any risk now and this should be totally doable as well let's end the turn great weather That should seal the deal. Yeah, why not? He has no overthrengths left anyways. So we can do it. That's good. And... Final bombardment of the final units. Our green panzer, relatively green panzer, could do the final shot. Last French surrenders, that's fitting. Grab the target. 
grab the target and that should do it. That's three kills. So let's make sure to take them. And that's it. Let's take a look at the map simply to make sure we didn't miss anything. Those are all mines. And yeah, the trenches here. I don't care for every single hex taken. That's what matters. Damage was not too bad, so I will take that and yeah, I've lost a little bit of overstrength, but it was totally worth it. A lot of prestige to grab here. Yeah, thanks for watching. Let's take a look at the outro. Decisive victory it is. A fantastic victory, Herr General. Your successes in France have finally brought our old Amini to her knees. Not only have you achieved this victory in a mere matter of weeks, but at greatly reduced loss of life compared to the Great War. Before you are deployed for future campaigns, I am to inform you that you and your man are being rotated back to Germany for rest and refitted. Refitting. This period of downtime will not last indefinitely, however, so be prepared to be called to duty again. Yeah, finally! Grand Campaign 40 has been completed. No more Charbies. Let's replace them with KVs. But I always welcome change. Let's take a look. No. New game. Grand campaign 41. Manstein difficulty. And we want you. A lot of new equipment available. This is Belgrade. Yep. I'm not doing this right now, but we might as well take a look at our core forces. So the goal now will be three stars. That's going to lose us 19 experience. For 8 prestige, I don't think that's worth it. This definitely would not be worth it. So our Fallschirmjägers are in great condition. Oledir got a little bit battered. So we can... Already up his strengths. This pioneers did eat some shots from the fortress. Hoffman did a great job, as always. Can get away with normal replacements. Yeah, this Panzer Fool probably also, because it's only one or two shots, then he will be back at three stars. But 14 prestige is not a lot. So let's preserve his strengths. Could be useful. Sometimes you need this extra punch. Our single scout performed very well. The artillery got away pretty clean actually. I like that. The 88. Had a hard job to do. 
we'll keep it as is for now. The fighters will have to go back into action soon. Hoffman. Do we have any upgrades? Yeah, finally the F version. Yeah, the attack values go down, but having the initiative bonus and the greater ra range totally is worth it. So we'll upgrade everyone. Make sure to use the cheaper points on overthranks. The R version. Yeah. It's not really better, but it has a lot of fuel reserves. That makes it worth. Helmut Land. The D model is not that great. But we will make will have to make do with that for the moment. Not any new level bombers. I'm not going to use the DO, the Douanier. On the side of the artillery will definitely Well We could get rid of some of our less than ideal artillery pieces and convert them to Sturks. They will have already three stars. For example, the plus two defense for the Sturk is really nice. That's something we can do. We have a lot of prestige to work with, so being a little bit Less than efficient is not a problem. We should have a lot of new panzers. Finally getting rid of the H models. But I will do those upgrades once I know how much world ranks I want to have. And on the side of the infantry, I could I still don't have any movement heroes on my infantry, I think. Nope. One can still hope, so probably I will still wait before I invest in Grenadiers. Yeah, those will upgrade later. And I think I will get definitely different artillery layout. So two Sturks is super helpful. Defense plus two. I tend to get my Stooks in dicey situations. So let's do it like this. I don't have any new standard models. Defense plus one, attack plus one, attack plus one. I will probably wait until one of my artillery pieces gets damaged. Then I will switch it to a Sturk. Attack plus three, he is great. I will definitely keep him. And will buy replacements here. And... 
I probably will invest into half tracks for the upcoming mud in the Soviet Union. But I will still think about that. For now, I think that's it. Yeah, I will. Yeah, it's, it's great to be finally in 41. A change of scenery. I, I really was getting a little bit um, sick of the germ of the French and of the French and the British tanks. The KVs are bad, but now at least the German tanks are a little bit upgraded. <clears throat> and I think the power difference is not that big. A Char B outmatches a Panzer 4D. It's really a joke. <laughs> I don't know. He has, I think, over 20. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has over 20 ground defense, the Char B. The, the KVs, the early KVs are pretty much as bad, but now we have the Panzer 3H that can dish out some damage and is a lot more resilient. Now we have, instead of six ground defense, we have 10 and that's a huge difference. Yep, I'm confident we can manage even a 12 strength at 15 strengths, those KVs we will deal with. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Sadly, no Stalingrad today. Uh, I was a little bit stressed out lately. And yeah, the blind rommel is mentally super exhausting. And I don't feel up for that at the moment. We'll have to wait until next week, but at least this will give Lieutenant Joker uh, the opportunity to catch up and then we are on the same missions again. So have a nice Sunday and yeah, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.